Jerry's wedding turned out to be pretty special. Oh, yeah. His best man didn't know him. He dumped his fiancée and married the belly dancer, and Mr. Broussard got so drunk he choked on a chicken wing. <laughs> hey, by the way, Brian, nice Heimlich. Hey, least I can do for my dance partner. <laughs> well, this whole miserable weekend is almost over. Jerry's leaving today, and it'll just be a distant memory. Mm. And now, ladies and gentlemen, live for the first time anywhere, Mr. and Mrs. Jerry Stark! Brian, you're a maniac! Look, Joe, before we head off to Boston, Roberta and I wanted to thank you for everything again. Especially getting us back together. I gotta say, uh, Marilyn was a really good sport. Imagine, she actually attended the wedding. She was a little down during the ceremony, but she perked up at the reception when the roast beef trolley sideswiped the dessert cart. <laughs> Now look, you, I want you to promise you'll come out to Columbus and visit us. I'll try. That's not good enough. I want you to get out your calendar right now and pick a date. Fall might be good. We could drive to Circleville for the pumpkin festival. Hey, better yet, why don't we come back for the holidays? You and me around the old Christmas tree, sipping sparkling apple cider, listening to Perry Como sing Christmas carols. Imagine that. I'm trying. <laughs> Joe, you know how much I love kids. Well, Roberta and I've decided we're definitely having a big family. Yeah, and boy or girl, the first one's gonna be named Joe. Oh, oh no, now look, see, that's, and of that's course, really we want flattering. you to be Godfather. If anything ever happens to Roberta and me, we would want you to raise our children. Mm, all of them. No, oh, no, I can't, Joe. Worry. It's important to us. I'll have my attorney draw up the paper. No, you shouldn't. Do I won't that. take no for an answer. I just got a great idea. Our kids could spend their summers here with Uncle Joe. No, <laughs> no, that can't Why happen. Because I don't know who you are. What are you talking about? Look, I should have told you this before, but I don't remember you. I don't remember your name. I don't remember your face. You are a complete blank to me. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, how, how could you not remember me? I mean, I may have only gone to school here for a semester, but we were pals. I know we were. Jerry, I... You honestly don't remember picking me for your team in gym class? Or re recall that time you made a place for me at your lunch table? Or what about every single day when you were on the way to your locker? I'd be standing at mine, and as you walk past, you go, How's it going, buddy? Jerry, if I did those things... If I... you did them, Joe, I'm not crazy. Next, you'll be telling me you don't remember the homecoming game. Well, of course I do. I, I caught a short pass, took it up the middle 62 yards for the winning touchdown. It was 48 yards, Joe, but I was talking about after the game. <laughs> I was standing with this big crowd of kids, and you walked by on your way to that party at the beach. Well, you looked right at me and said, hey, come on. We were friends, Joe. Sandpiper Air Flight 25 for Boston will now begin boarding. Well, I'm really sorry to have bothered you. I'll be going now, and you and your real friends can have a good laugh. Hey, Jerry. Gotcha. Huh? Oh, come on. I'm yanking your chain. Do you think I would go through all of this, be your best man, throw you a bachelor party if I didn't remember you? You mean? I'm kidding. What'd you do? Did you get married and lose your sense of humor? <laughs> Is this guy a maniac? <laughs> maniac! Look, we better get going. I'll call you soon. OK, Thanks buddy. for everything. <laughs> Can't believe I fell for that gag. <laughs> you still don't have the slightest idea who he is, do you? Not a clue. 